Hi people, this is Inyo from PRGV Entertainment. Welcome to an Unreal Engine 4 dummy lesson. This lesson is going to be really quick. I'm going to show you guys how you can print some text on your screen, on your HUD, where every time you overlap where it, with an item. So, let's create one folder, and this one's going to be my HUD. The other one's going to be my items. So on my HUD I'm going to create a widget. Now this widget is going to be action text HUD. Let's put it like that. So I'm just going to put a text block here. I'm going to centralize this right on the middle. I'm going to make the Unreal Engine tutorials today because I'm kind of sick. I'm just trying to make something quick today. Okay. So we got our text block on the middle. So let's compile. Let's not touch this anymore for now. Now let's go to our third person character. Let's create a variable. This one's going to be a text. Now let's put here action text. Action text, why? Because you can use it for maybe opening doors. You can present on your screen, like press E to open the door or if it's an item press E to pick up the item or stuff like that so let's compile we just created a variable let's set it on public so we can get the variable somewhere else on the project and now let's go to our folders of items and let's create a blueprint this one's going to be an actor let me item pick up so from here we will start working with the items from this tutorial now on. So let's add a collection. Collection. Kind of sick. Let's add a mesh. Let's add a rotating movement. Let's make it look nice. <laughs> Sphere. Okay, so let's take the mesh and let's add the sphere. So I'm going to use the static one. And I'm going to pull it down because it's too big. There we go. Let me check this out first. Okay, front. It's okay. So now I'm going to change the material to gold. Just to make it look nice. There we go. And now let's go to our event graph for our item here now i'm going to delete, delete the begin play event i'm just going to leave the begin overlap so here we're going to add one variable to this item and this one is going to be pickup text let's compile so we can get the options and let's type here press f to pick up the item okay so let's compile once again and now we need to cast this to our third person character blueprint because we need to connect to it so we can set this variable that we have here that have the, we're going to get the characters variable the one that we made action text and that one is going to be equal to this variable of the item so let's get the player character let's get let's put here set action text there we go we're going to put this one with this one and now we're going to take our variable from our item pick up text and we're going to link it right here on the action text so now the action text on the character is equal to the pickup text of this item so here we are good let's go back to our HUD and now let's get our text block and let's bind this one so let's within on the text let's create a function this one's gonna be get pickup or action text so we need to connect once again to our character so we need to cast to third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you have get player character and now we're going to 
get uh, action text. We're going to put it right here. So he's going to connect to the character. He's going to read the action text variable and he's going to return that value on the screen on our text block that we created right on the middle. And now let's go back to our third person character. Let's go to the event graph. Let's add uh, an overlap here. An overlap. And let's just set the action text to blank. So every time we get off from from overlapping with the item, it will just put the, the text in blank. You can do other stuff like maybe just remove from parent the widget and stuff like that but you can you can do different widgets so you can create a widget for action text or other stuff like that but I just prefer to leave it in blank and not create so many widgets okay so let's put the item here let's see if it works no so here we start we are having trouble with text because we haven't loaded the widget. That's another thing. Let's create a function. This one's going to be load HUD. So I'm going to create the widget. Action text, owning player, get player controller. I'm just going to add this one to the viewport. That should be all. Let's compile. Let's play. And I still can't see my tags. Where is it? Okay. First of all, we still need to add it. Okay. So I forgot once again. On begin play event begin play. I need a sleep. Okay. There we go. Now that's better. So as you can see, every time you get near the item, you get your text. So let's say that we want to duplicate that item. So let's go back. Let's just duplicate one of these. Let's maybe put here. Okay, so we got the pickup item too. So let's change. The mesh. Let's put something else. I'm not sure. Metal, metal. I think it should be liquid. Okay. So it's frozen. There we go. Compiling shaders. Oh my god. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. Okay. So let's say that maybe the pickup text for this one. I want. I wanted to say. Uh, press F to pick up assault rifle. Assault rifle. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this one over here. Let's hit the play. So every time I get near this one, it says press F to pick up the item and press F to pick up assault rifle. So you just need to change from every pickup you make, you just need to change the variable that you put the text inside of it and it will start working really quick so let's say here press uh, F2 pick up uh, Apple hmm. gotta put it on the scene first see and every time you end the overlap it gets them like. Well, hope to see you guys on our next dummy lessons. This is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and don't forget to comment. Bye bye.